Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny, and today we're going to be taking a look at your ex. How do they feel about you? This one here is for Aries. So, Aries, how does your ex feel about you? How does Aries ex? How do they feel about him? Let me get three cards. Three cards for Aries. Hmm. Aries, you get separation. They miss you. They think about you a lot. Sounds like, uh, or it looks like they might be unsure about where you guys might go in the future. Abundance. They have kept a positive mindset. They see that you're doing really well. And... And it, I don't know, like, they see you doing good. And I, I think they feel kind of dumb. They're heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup. Yeah, I think they look at you and they're like, wow, you're really doing things for yourself. So definitely missing you. Definitely missing you. Let's see. What caused the separation? Because I'm just nosy. What caused the separation? We'll do one more shuffle a good one not a split weird one like that with these cards it looks like there was some childish behavior a lot of talk no action um I feel like this other person may have been more focused on money than on the relationship. And I feel like they know that it kind of made you feel like um, robbed. Like, it, it kind of feels to me like you were robbed of time. Like you were robbed of experiences you were robbed of different things in this relationship because they were focused on money they were focused on their job they were focused more on you know their stability they didn't really focus on yours or on yours together in a whole it was more about them i get a more selfish energy here uh, i feel like they definitely stalk you they definitely look at look out for you or vice versa um or they try to but at the same time I feel like they learned a lot from this connection. I really do. Definitely money focus here. Could be that they looked at you for that support. That could be it too. They could have definitely looked at you as someone who's abundant, which it actually says right here, and someone who could prob possibly help them out whenever, whenever they needed it. Let me get three for this abundance card. Three for abundance. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, this sends a different message. And to me, this feels more like they might have kept secret how they felt about you, how they actually felt about you, um, how they saw you as stable. It almost feels here like, yeah, I didn't give you the credit you deserved. I'm looking back at it now and, and I see everything for what it was. But the moon is there. And with the moon being there, it's possible that this person won't even admit to this to themselves. It's possible that they know it like deep inside, but they're not admitting it. And I feel like they're not admitting it because they're prideful. I feel like they may have kept a lot of secrets from you. And I feel like one of those secrets may have been that they're more interested in money. I don't know why I get that a lot here. Also, they live. 
live in a they live in a state of loss so it's like they never have enough or they feel like they, they never have enough They're always looking to the past and what they lost and they're not looking to the future to what they can have. Everything is about looking back for them. Their future is a mystery because they're not looking at it. See, and, and I'm not a psychologist or anything, but whenever I see this, whenever I see like this energy right here, it's a very pity me. Pity me. Like, on the outside, I am all about the money. I'm all about prosperity and happy and, you know, all that. But inside, I've been through this. I've been through that. This happened to me. That happened to me. But not really, not really taking into account, like, nothing happened to you. You happened to it. You control your life. It does not control you unless you let it. I mean, you can totally give over your power to anything else and any other circumstance in your life to ruin you, or you can take control of your life. Free will. Either you take control of your life or it'll take control of you. And I really get here that vibe of poor me, you know, poor me. Here I am trying to, trying to do my best thing and be positive and, and be a certain way, but underneath it all, honey. This person is not in a mindset where they have future outlooks at all. So let me get three for this heartbroken card. Heartbroken over Aries. Why? Why are you heartbroken over Aries? You cross watcher, you. Okay. They're heartbroken over you because they feel like this could have been victorious, but man, it's so much work. It's like, like they wanted victory. They just didn't want to put the work in to get it. It's, it's heavy for them. It feels to them like it's just, I always got to be working on it. And that's too hard for me to do deep down on the inside. Um, that gives me that energy of, yeah, I'll try. You'll try. There's no such thing as, I, I believe there's no such thing as try. It's either you're going to do it or you're not. But that I'll try, that just leaves the window open for, I'm going to give some effort, but I will not give effort the whole time and blame everything else for me not doing my part. That's what I'll try means. In my experience too, I'm the same. Maybe not in this aspect, but in other things in my life, like when I'm going to get on a diet or when I'm going to go to the gym, I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to try. <laughs> uh, anyways, enough about me. Um, Yeah, they definitely felt like they wanted victory. They just with all this work needing to be put in, I don't think that they were ready for it. I don't think that they were ready for it. Let me get three cards for Aries from this deck. To summarize their ex's hangups, I guess. What three cards here? Okay, that's too much. We're not doing that at all but mm, 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 mm. let's try again these cards are super slippery by the way three cards for Aries says here take a fucking trip <laughs> go see some shit do some new things talk to people cooler than you definitely feels like this person was stuck maybe with the same group of people 
maybe not venturing outside of their comfort zone very much like let me give you an example like say for instance they have three exes they never let go of them it's always like always the same people they always date around the same people the same group they don't do anything brand new like i said that that stems from here when you look when you're looking at the past you're gonna go back to the past so it's very much this person is just in this in this loop in this loop of messing with the same people, talking to the same people, working with the same people, having the same friends. Like, there's no change here. They don't ever look ahead. They look to the past for everything. And when you do that, you just stay there. You stay in the past. You can't look to the future when you're looking at the past. You cannot, you cannot successfully do anything in your future if you're not looking at it. If you're looking at the past. It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You are a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. Like I said, right here in the middle, it's very much pity me. This stuff has happened to me. This stuff didn't... I didn't make this happen. I didn't make that woman or man leave me. I didn't make that happen. This all happened to me. Oh, man. You know, I am such a victim. That victim mentality ain't going to get you anywhere except for continuing to be a victim of your circumstances and not changing them. Very much that energy of that person. You are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Yeah. I believe this is for you. You're loved. You're here for a reason. Don't mess it up. Be grateful for the lessons in your past, including this one. And my advice to you is don't go back to the past. This is your ex's feelings on you, Aries. Be glad that this is your ex and not your future. See you later.